You know, at the age of, uh, I don't know, something about seven or nine, I, I came to Hollywood with my mother and I did my first film called Best Foot Forward. And Hollywood, for an actor as a kid growing up, I don't know if I would do it again. But Eric Douglas grew up here in Hollywood. Father, Kirk Douglas, come on, the youngest son of the Douglases. How many brothers do you have? I have three brothers. Right. You have? I have, well, there's me, and I'm the youngest, right? Right. And there's uh, Peter, and Michael, and Joel. And Joel. Oh, so, your father had four sons. That's right. I grew up with my brothers, These too. That's all, four. that's all that we know about. Right. And we Eric, all look alike. All look alike. So we know that the milkman didn't do it. <laughs> Eric, growing up here as a child with your father and your mother in Hollywood, Age, what age did you start working with your dad in a film? Well, actually, it's an interesting question. I am very fortunate in that I am the only of my father's sons who's actually been on camera with him. Mm -hmm. uh, I made uh, three movies that he's been in. Right. One in which I played him as a young man. Which, uh, which was that? That was called Remembrance of Love. It was a TV oh. movie we shot in Israel, and uh, I played uh, a, a young Jewish partisan uh, in a Ludge ghetto. Uh -huh. uh, and because all the other actors were Israeli, right. okay, I had to get an Israeli accent, so we all sound like we were the same. But the very first movie I made was a movie that my father had financed from the Jicarilla Apache Indians. Ah, Gunfighter. That's right. I remember that. Matter of fact, that's one of my favorites of your dad's. Yeah. Gunfighter. Who was the girl in that? That uh, was, uh, oh my God, there, God were, there were incredible uh, actresses. Actresses. I, you ready? Karen Black. That's right. Jane Alexander. Do you remember Raph Falone? Raph Falone. Uh, of course, you know wonderful who played, actor. You know who played against him? Who? Johnny Cash. I remember going over That's the... That's right, Johnny Cash was in that film. That's yeah. right, I remember We that. went over to the caches and had grits every morning. Did you really? That was the best thing about that picture. And you were how old then? I was about nine. Nine? And you remember the grits you used to go to Johnny oh, Cash's? Yeah. Really? Yeah, his wife June Carter, she'd make uh -huh. them. Growing up here with all the stars, you know, going to their homes, you must have some great, great stories. Well, I gotta tell you, my favorite story, yes. which I've never told on camera before, and please, if you're listening, Jamie, don't kill me. Jamie Curtis? Jamie Curtis okay. was the first kiss that I ever had. Because you see, in those days, you always played with the sons or daughters of your father's agents or your father's friends. In this case, it was Tony Curtis. Right. You know, yonder is the castle of my father. <laughs> and uh, Jamie w and I were playing in a tree house that my parents had built on our home right. in Beverly Hills. And I tried to give her a kiss, and she, she pushed me away. And there was a trap door, like all tree houses have. Right, of course. And the trap door was open, and boom. I fell right down to the bottom, and I ended up having a hernia operation uh -huh. because of it. So I don't know if Jamie remembers that, but that was my first time that I ever tried to kiss a girl. Eric, uh, biggest change in your life. You know, they say Eric Douglas today on the news, on the radio, you're <laughs> they, <laughs> they giggle because of the plane situations, because of being arrested. They don't know Eric Douglas like some of the people I know in town, who really Eric Douglas is. Eric Douglas is not what they are portraying, like the plane, being arrested. You've who, known me for many, I've known many you. years. And I really get upset when I see and hear things about you. What can you do? Well, what can we do? Eric Douglas, how do you feel about this? I mean, you, you've been in courthouses lately lots of times. It's torturous. It's torturous the whole way of the legal system. The only thing that hurts me the most is I haven't reached a level of my career where I can be de able to deflect it. And nowadays, you know, you can get arrested for anything. Right. You take the term uh, assault, which is something that of I've course. been arrested for. Many times. Do you know? Because you're standing up for your right. 
and, and when you stand up for your rights sometimes, but, they call the police and arrest you yeah, for but, no reason. But you know that Absolutely. people think assault means punching someone or getting a black eye. The definition of the term assault in California is any form of unlawful touching Just or touch. the intent thereof. It need not touch the person. It need only touch the person's clothing. It need not actually hurt, cut, injure, blacken, redden, <sighs> lacerate, uh -huh. or, or scrape the person. It need only hurt the person's feelings. What would you like to tell my audience or any audience about Eric Douglas? How do you feel are they doing to you? I mean, because it upsets me, you know, well, Eric. Well, I just think that everyone deserves their own chance. And I think that what has taken me a few years is to stop letting it bother me. So for those of you out there who think that they're having an unjustifiable time, right? it's probably more because you're, or one, is obsessing or letting it get to you, then, 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 you know, just forgetting about it and going on with your life. It's the same thing, I was once arrested for disorderly conduct. Do you know what that means? It means any form of rude or obnoxious behavior. Right. My God. I mean, how many people do you know are rude and obnoxious on a daily basis? You wanted to be a favorite airline pilot. Tell me about that. I just found out. I can't believe it. You're always getting arrested on airplanes. What is this about? You want it? Really? Is that your hidden the secret? The funniest thing is that I always loved flying and I loved uh, airplanes. And now I'm petrified of them. Are you really? Oh, because, because of this incident all well, the time. I mean, I once went on an airplane and a stewardess tried to get me uh, off. And the captain said, well, what did he do wrong? And she starts to break into tears. Well, I've never had him on my flight before, but five of my friends have, and they've all had to start therapy. <laughs> you, try, you drive everyone crazy, they say, but you don't, really. No, I mean, you know. You it, know what's so wonderful about it's Eric Douglas? Very, it's Eric, a different world now. You know, Eric, what's so wonderful, I heard a great story about you. I heard a story when you were in Rome or Germany, you know, they go to bed at night in hotels when you were a kid, evidently. Oh, you man. used to go to, used to get out of your room, and they used to put shoes out in the, out in the told you that. tell me about that story. Tell me what they used to do. I love it. I used to love, because you know, go ahead, tell they, me. in the fancier hotels Fancy. in the old days, in Europe, they would, you put their shoes out at night and they would shine them. Out in the and hall. And then they yep. would return them. Out in the hall. Well, I would run around the hotel, because I thought, I'm, I was, I, I mean, let's You were a kid, it. you were having I'm fun. I'm precocious. Yeah. I still am, okay? <laughs> I ran around and I switched every, all the different shoes, shoes around. Right. So I would mismatch the pairs. I think it's and great. And then I would get up in the morning and watch how these people would get up and look down <laughs> at the <laughs> Hysterical. 